The Banana Coast Cup attracts a record crowd and a field of 15 for the 2,000 metres event at Scenic Coffs Harbour. I remember my first cup in 1971. Tommy Smith brought Regal Rhythm up and it won the race. Regal Rhythm strikes the front from Desert Bow. Here's Big Butch down the outside, but Regal Rhythm takes the big one by a short head over Big Butch with Desert Bow third. I've been associated with the club since 1966. I was president for years and then I come back as a board member. I'm 88 and I'm still mowing the place. His wife's down there helping me too. I like mowing. You see something for your effort. That's why I do it. And I like to make it look good for the club. I've been in the club that long. They made me a life member, naming the auditorium after me, the Merv Mercer Auditorium. The thing about the Coffs Harbour Cup is the different variety of people that you meet on the race day. It's where they come from and who they are. Fantastic. Of Clapton and getting right up along the inside is Fender with Tara Jasmine. Fender race to the front. Hosier right down the outside. Monagle, Tara Jasmine back to the inside. Hosier in front of Fender. The Ritz is storming home. Hosier race to the lead inside the 100. It's Hugh Bowman and Hosier's Cup. Hosier wins by a length. <laughs> run around as a kid here and jump on the jumping castle and celebrate the races and that from a sideline with all my little friends and yeah it was just a great day out as a kid. And, um, my grandfather he has his own seat here and that's the seat that he sat in every race meeting he'd attend and he'd have his binoculars and watch every race and he'd sit out there all day watching the races. First time I rode in the carnival it was an awesome atmosphere and just to be out there, it was the best time ever and I was so excited just to come fifth, but it was just a great day to be riding. To win the 2023 Coffs Harbour Cup would be absolutely insane. It'd be a great achievement considering I'm an apprentice and I reckon my family would be so stoked for me. I haven't missed a Coffs Cup since 1971. When I was a little fellow, my father was a bookmaker. I've been going to the races ever since I was about six or eight, and that's been it, my life. I have been dressing people at the Coffs Cup since 1971, right up until today. All the young ones, they like to outdo themselves and they always want to look spick and span to make sure the colours are coordinating. The Coffs Cup has always been a tradition as far back as I can recall. When the Cup would be over, people would come in and say, what a terrific time they'd have. And they were looking forward to it for next year, for the future to come. Growing up, I remember we used to have horse races on Wagorka Beach and it was a big community day out. And I think horse racing is one of those industries that really brings the community together. We'll see more people come in for a long weekend, uh, spend the entire weekend here on the mid-north coast, uh, spending their money in our restaurants, our hotels, and our clothing boutiques as well. I know they do a fantastic trade in the lead up to the Coffs Cup. Putting the event on a Friday means people will be here for the long weekend and spending more money, more heads on bets. The Coffs Cup tradition evolves. Tradition evolves. Tradition evolves. Tradition evolves. And the winner of the 2023 Moody Beach Hotel Coffs Cup is...